Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, we are going to create this plan in Rhino. So basically, we have like a plan without doors and windows. Uh, let's say we have not decided about the location of the doors and windows yet. So it's about like 15 by 15. Uh, the exterior walls are uh, 0.3 meters which is 30 centimeters thick the interior walls are 10 centimeters thick and we are going to create it in Rhino so I want to go here uh, I want to double check the units so let's go to tools options units I want to go with meters because this one also is in meters I want to go with three decimal places everything seems good okay and I want to create it in the top view so uh, about the snaps and all snaps, one of the things to have in mind is to check the box for project object snaps. That means uh, when you have clicked this item, you can be sure that everything will be created on one horizontal plane or the C plane. That means the things, the objects are not going to jump and up and down on the Z direction. So make sure the project icon is selected. Um, I want to have the grid snap on for now. Uh, how about I turn this off to show you why we need it. Uh, I'm going to start drawing lines. And uh, as you saw in the previous videos, if I go to File, Properties, Aliases, uh, you see we have a lot of shortcuts here, which are actually AutoCAD shortcuts, and I imported them from here. So in AutoCAD, you know PL stands for Polyline. So I want to use PL. I want to go from here. I know that this is 15 meters. You need to click here once after you type 15. I can also uh, keep ortho on. And I want to go 15 meters on this direction. Click once, 15 and 15. Right. So now I have one uh, rectangle and uh, I want to offset that by 0.3 meters. So I want to go with O offset. Uh, I can assign the distance here. It's going to be 0.3. And I can select the direction. So now I have the thickness of the wall. Uh, next, I would like to create this wall, which is 4.5 meters above this one. I'm going to go with L for line. And uh, I want to uh, turn off this option. Okay, now if you hover the mouse around the end and move up, you see that it shows some numbers, right? So if I say 4.5 um, after hovering the mouse around here, it's going to put the first point 4.5 meters above that line. So that's what I'm going to do. And for here, you see that because the grid snap is on, it's going to snap here, but I want it to snap here. That means I need to check the box for perpendicular. So I want to check the box here so I can end the line over there. Uh, just like before, I want to offset this, same amount, select over there. Uh, let's see, we have also a room here, which is 5 meters wide, 10 centimeters uh, for the thickness of the wall and then three and a half. Okay, uh, so how about I go with another line, L, and when you hover the mouse around here, don't type anything, just move to the right, and I want to type five, right? And now I can uh, just click here, I want to offset this, I need to change the distance from here to uh, point 0.1, offset this, and this side. Okay, now I have another wall here which is 2.7 below that one. So let's keep going. How about I just create this other wall first. So I want to go 5.7 on that direction. So again L 5.7 here O 0.1 is good. And the other wall is 2.7, so L from that, if I hover the mouse around here, 2.7. And uh, this wall has a thickness of 30 centimeters, so I want to offset this one by uh, 0.3. So distance goes there, 0.3, this and that. Okay, there we go. We can keep going. We also need to 
trim sub objects that line should go over there that line should go over there and then we need to trim uh, the bottom part that's going to be the entrance so let's go here I need to extend this line I want to type ex uh, you can just read the commands uh, later you're going to just know them but the uh, first time that you use Rhino you need to read them so select the boundary object it means this one hit enter then select this curve and I can select this one right and then I need to trim how about I select these objects type TR I want to trim here here and here as well as here there we go right so it's kind of like um, the same it works in AutoCAD. You can select the whole thing, you can type trim, and then you can simply trim the areas that you don't need. Okay. Uh, now let's continue. I have 3.8 meters here and 4.5 on this side, which is going to give me a room on that corner. So I want to type uh, L hover the mouse around here 3.8 and this is going to be four and a half I click here once and I want to draw this other line and both of them would have like 0.1 amount of thickness so I want to offset change the distance to 0.1 this one will be offset here. You can type extend here. This one, hit enter and select this one so it's going to extend it. And I want to offset this wall by 0.1 and I need to draw a line from here to this. Make sure that you have to have the perpendicular snap on as well as the end stop. I have 1.8 here, 5 and 3.5. And now another line. I need to go 5 meters away and this is going to be 4.6 over there. Uh, I have 1.8 here so L hover the mouse around here 1.8 this is going to be 4.5 uh, click here uh, I want to offset this line by 0.1 I need uh, a line or a polyline is better. I want to type PL. I want to go with 3.5. Click here once and click here. Click here once and click here. It's important that after you are done, do not hit escape because it's going to just uh, not create the whole. Uh, set of lines that you created just hit the right click right so hit right click to escape uh, so this one continues one meter further down here so I want to go with L I want to go with point one from this line and I want to go one meter below and I want to have another line here I want to trim here and I want to use extend so EX so you see how fast it is to work when you use the shortcuts especially if you have worked with CAD before uh, for that item over there it seems that we don't have the dimensions uh, my guess is that if that is four and a half this should be about three meters line from here three meters away and I want to uh, click here and I want to offset this by 0.1 as well okay so it seems that we have all the lines except for here we also have two and a half by 1.8 I want to go with PL polyline 1.8 here and two and a half here click click right click to escape do not use escape right click and offset this last one by point 0.1 okay now we have all the lines uh, I want to use trim I want to uh, select everything 
type tr now you can get rid of these little lines or you can keep it if you need it i would like to get rid of them for now 